on the, to protect the rights of people who are disfavored by the majority. You said right, we the people, not I the judge. Mrs. Letterman came in with a stroke of a pen. She changed a week before Florida had voted 60% pro marriage of Dan and Mom. She comes a week later with a stroke of a pen. She brings back data. Back now to this is, judge. But these are two different now these are two different things. Gay marriage, gay adoption. There have been there's been polling done in this state. Quinnipiac poll shows the majority of Floridians support the repeal of the gay adoption ban. They believe that the, the, uh, the determination should be made by a judge with regard to what is in the best interest of a child. No one is saying that every homosexual person gets to adopt a child. Everybody goes through the same process, the same home study, so that you know whether or not you know, they have meet the criteria for being able to adopt. But I have to also get back the American, uh, the, uh, American uh, Psychological Association, Psychiatry Association, Pediatric Association, American Academy of Pediatrics, Child Welfare League of America, National Association of Social Workers. These are the kind of people who came in to testify when Judge Lederman uh, finally came out with her opinion. I read she the did entire not, case she, yesterday. Did not, she did not do this all by herself. There is a role, as, uh, as Alan Michelle says, for the judiciary here. This is not activism. This is their right and their responsibility. Alan, can you explain in somewhat layman's terms what what were the bases for overturning? What were the legal bases? Separation of powers was something that the courts talked about a lot. The the uh, legislature has said that the guiding principle in adoption cases is what's in the best interest of the child. That's the role the judges to play. But then the legislature has also enacted the gay ban, which says no matter what the judge thinks, no matter what the evidence shows, no homosexual, no gay person, no lesbian person is ever fit to adopt a child. Uh, in our system of government, uh, we don't let the legislature prejudge the individual qualifications of a person unless there's some other rational basis to exclude them. For example, a, someone who's convicted of a heinous crime. Under the adoption statute, there's a categorical exclusion for the worst crime. Sexual morality for me is a heinous crime. Okay. Homosexuality is a heinous crime. We have a priest, we have the Catholic Church paying millions of dollars to sell suits. Paul, I'm going to ask you not to bring up priest abuse because that is not the topic and that is really a different issue than we're talking about today. There, okay. there are many parents who are heterosexual parents who have also been convicted of crimes. Well, this is in our well. face right now in the table. If we decide, okay, let me just say this. This gave us a window into time. People who are abused at age two, touched by homosexual priests, have there, to be abused. Yes. Excuse me, abuse is not the issue today. There is no evidence. It is abuse because there's a possibility there. of a child being abused in a home. Yeah. And that is and in any home. home. Yeah. Yes. 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 Let me just say this that the children that are in the foster care system of the state of Florida overwhelmingly came from heterosexual homes. There was an abuse and neglect in heterosexual homes. You know what? Abuse and neglect can happen anywhere. So we, what we are saying is, look at all the facts. Doesn't matter whether some, what someone's sexual orientation is. They can be a good or a bad parent. And I'm that's the very that's important the case here. I'm going on vacation for one month. Am I going to leave my child, a three-month-old or a three-year-old girl or boy, in the care of two homosexual men? Or my girl in the care of two homosexual women? I will not. And I don't think anybody watching or you will do the same thing. You might not, but, but the, the case that we heard last Thursday at the 3rd District Court of Appeal are two lesbian women, uh, one of whom is a biological relative, a, the cousin of the little boy. And the family wanted those two women to take that child and to adopt that child. Let me ask you a question. In, in this state, and for the last 33 years, it has been perfectly legal for gay parents to be licensed state foster parents and who have gotten children from the system left with them far longer and have been very successful. Where, where is the logic? I think that that's was that? wrong. I think that was a misstep from the legislation. I think that was wrong because now there is this inconsistency. You can be foster for a while, but you cannot adopt. There's a, we have to close the door that was open. Because I, again, I would not go for a week on vacation to Hawaii and leave my three-year-old with a homosexual to take care of. And I know you would not, not do it either time. The government has made a very, a very important role in deciding who can adopt and who can't adopt. Okay? No one disputes that. 
no one disputes that um, sexual orientation is no excuse. Sexual orientation, I'm sorry, because homosexuality is. Okay. The, the yeah, point is that the law already puts in place many, many, many safeguards to make sure only qualified people are allowed to adopt. There's an extensive home study done, there are all kinds of background checks, there are visits to the home, there the court has to examine the case, there are all kinds of legal requirements to get to the point where the, you even appear in front of a judge. The question is, in view of all those safeguards, is there a rational basis, does it make sense to categorically exclude an entire group of Floridians simply because of how God made them? And God did not make homosexuals. They were not made, they made themselves homosexuals. 80% of homosexuals today, you know why they're homosexuals? 80% according to data, Diana, is because they were touched wrongly by a grown up when they were little. I, I hate to leave that as the last word, but for time purposes, I'm going to have to. Um, but thank you very much and work hard to continue to get this thing overturned in the Florida legislature. And, and I hope in the work hard to keep the dead and mom, let's not alter the law forever. We will be monitoring both sides very carefully and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.